Good morning, we'll take a look at Euros and as you can see quite clearly on that daily chart we hit the 38.2 at 116.89 our low was 116.96, that's close enough and this morning, although we closed lower yesterday, this morning we are slightly up again if you look at where that 55 day moving average is coming in that's a 117.37 that intersects with the neckline that I have drawn on this chart for you here so a return to neckline after a break lower is quite acceptable that does not detract from the bearishness of this market how you measure the target is this all you do to get a projected downside target you take the high which is at 120.11 up here and you take the low and you have 274 points that you can expect to be on the downside so you take this break this neckline here at 1737 and you minus 274 points which leaves you with a target of 1460 now we all know this target this area of 1460 to 1500 We've been here many, many times and this was causing a problem for us back oh, in 2018 and whenever it's gone above 1080, 11080, you know that 1460, 1500 is where it's going to go and from that point, if it breaks higher, great, we know we're on to a bit of a bull run. If it doesn't, as has been proved so many times in the past, down we come. So this 1460 target, this doesn't mean to say it's the end of the bullish run in the short term in the euro, but what it means at the moment is it's like stop, halt, the move up from May, June time is at the moment beginning to stall. I would take you to the longer term charts, but I'm sure everybody knows that since 2009, when the Euro double topped at 160, we have been coming down. We've had our moments when we've blipped back higher, we blipped back to 140, then we come a lot lower, we've been to 125, then we went to 120, then we went to 103. That was our Euro low. The key, when we've been up here before, we have not been above 125. That's the key, the, the whole long-term trend in the currencies is down. Obviously it has corrections, obviously we have moves to the top side, especially under current market conditions. When I say current, I mean this year, it's been a bit of a, a bit of a sound so really, but you can't detract from the fact that we are in a long-term downtrend, our intermediate trend is down, our short-term trend is up and this is where we've stopped so it's only the short-term trend that is up and we've topped you know there there isn't you can't look at that chart and say we haven't however stopping at the 32 38.2 fib yesterday is quite important so a return to 1737 1750 is on the cards if and it is a big if we close above 1745 there is a chance that we can go back and test the weekly pivot and the weekly pivot is coming in at 11816 1, up here now the monthly pivot at 11850 um, will we get it but if you look there you can see a, a long term trend line I put on you can see that intersecting with the monthly pivot so for the moment you are still selling into strength yes we're oversold i can see that uh, not drastically we haven't gone below 20 percent just yet but we we are oversold you've got the rsi at 32 percent so again not in extreme dangerous levels but enough i think to make us go okay maybe we're going to see a little bounce. Now, obviously, if we break that 38.2% fib 
so we're breaking 16.89 we have a little trend line coming in under that at 16.65 but then we would be looking at this area here initially at 15.89 and then we look to the measure target of 14.60 don't forget that measure target that I'm telling you about because even though it would still keep us buoyant if you look at the um, 70% fib that's coming in at 14.21 so it's only 40 50 points in it so even if it goes down to those lower levels it still hasn't broken down below 114 and that would be the key if it broke 114 euros at it and dollar gets a lot stronger okay lovely enjoy today good luck and i will catch you on the desk later